So I haven't been on YouTube in a very long time. And that's because somewhere between getting separated, raising kids, building a career, basically starting over and finding out who I really am. I thought I had nothing to offer on this platform. I really do love making content and so the goal was always to kind of like find my niche, find my why, find my groove and come back and present this bam, 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 you know, great content, great video, great competitive quality um, content, which feels like it's never coming. I'm in a constant state of feeling stuck. And um, even as I'm doing this video, I don't really know what I'm gonna post next or even what I'm doing in this video right here, but the goal is to start, or at least start. Um, I was speaking to a friend of mine the other day and she said something that was like, there's always gonna be somebody who's a little bit more behind than you are in the trajectory of life. So don't look at it as you have nothing to offer or you're not an expert in the subject matter and so you have nothing good to offer. And it's funny, cause obviously that resonated to me and I was like, whoa, okay, like, yeah, you're right. And I should have known, I should have known or I should have thought of that. Um, I always, I, I'm the type that's like, even a kid could teach you something. So it was weird that I would think that I have nothing to offer. I guess that's the whole negative self-talk, which is a whole other problem, but we're not gonna dive into that today. Really quickly, I don't want this to be such a massive video. I'm actually reshooting. I shot a whole other video and I was like, this is, this is trash. Um, and so I'm here again, just to, to, to try to be real and just come on here and say, you know what, I've been going through some things. Everybody's been going through some things. I've been going through some things and that's why I haven't been here. Midlife crisis, I had a midlife crisis. You know what, I'm gonna I'm tell you what that is. I'm gonna insert, insert that clip from what I shot yesterday to tell you what a midlife crisis is. Hey Google, what's a midlife crisis? According to Wikipedia, a midlife crisis is a transition of identity and self-confidence that can occur in middle-aged individuals, typically 40 to 60 years old. The phenomenon is described as a psychological crisis brought about by events that highlight a person's growing age, inevitable mortality, and possibly lack of accomplishments in life. There you have it. So I've been going through, or I went through a midlife crisis, um, and really I'm on a journey, and it's, it's the most frustrating thing, you know, it's... It's like this journey where you're trying to unlearn all these bad habits, build up all these new habits, but it's continuous because sometimes it feels like you're being set back, two steps forward, three steps back, and it's exhausting. I'm so tired. But, but as they say, you know, choose your heart. You could choose the hard, of never progressing and staying where you are and continuing these bad habits and just never growing. Or you could choose the heart of trying to grow and being a better person in life and eventually progressing, even if it's little amounts a day. That's a daily challenge in itself. I'm a people pleaser. I grew up in a very strict Haitian household, Christian household, so many restrictions and just trying to hold the line and eventually I felt like it was tearing at the seams and I just, it bust. I started having anxiety attacks. I had no idea who I was, who I am. I mean, I, had, I, have, I have ideas, you know, but really who I am for me, what these things mean for me, what my values are. So that's a continuous process. Um, onto separation. I got separated back in 2020, um, sitting on the brink of divorce. Um, lots of resentment, lots of hurt. I'm gonna touch on grief in a moment um, because I lost my dad back in January, but so interesting. My dad would often encourage me to forgive. 
And I can forgive, but I can't forget. Anyways, there's a lot on there, but that obviously comes with its sets of challenges and raising kids in the midst of all of that. It's been really hard. Grief, grief. Um, I mean, there's so much more in between and there's layers, there's career change, there's trying to build a career trajectory for a, a dream that has no clear cut path. So that's hard. And I'll touch on that another time, but grief, um, as I mentioned, I lost my dad back in January. It's ebbs and flows because grief is not linear. No, why would it be that simple, right? Because nothing in life is. So it's the constant ebb and flow of that and just always feeling like I'm trying to keep my head above water. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> and that's where I've been and that's what I'm going through. The goal is to post on a weekly basis and, you know, build a, a community with like-minded women going through similar challenges and just touch on, talk about topics that we're dealing with on the day to day. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, like, share, and please comment. What are some things that you're going through? Maybe things you relate to and maybe just even tips and tricks or anything you wanna share, please feel free. And so that's it for me for now. No huge outro, just another video. Um, and so here I am and uh, I'll see you guys again, hopefully next time.